first speaker. <coughs> First speaker this morning is Bill McNamara. This morning, Bill will be giving the third speech from the second level of pathways for the project Introduction to Toastmasters Mentoring from the protege's perspective. In this five to seven minute speech, Bill will share some advice he received from a mentor. His speech is titled Reflecting on Andy's Advice. Please help me welcome Bill McNamara. Fellow Toastmasters, there's a famous quote by Isaac Newton I love. It says, if I have seen farther than most, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. My speech today is one that is packaged and handed to me by Toastmasters, where I'm supposed to speak on Toastmasters mentoring and specifically a, an experience as a protege. One thing that came to mind was some great advice I got from a previous mentor of mine. It was a work related where he was assigned to me and he was called a coach. Now I know from reading through the project with Toastmasters that he was actually a mentor because Toastmasters tells me that a coach is focused on a short term goal, gives specific advice related to that goal, tells you the what to do. Whereas a mentor is focused on a long term goal, Protégé divine, defines the actions, the advice is more general in nature. The mentor really gives advice along the what and how, excuse me, the what and why. So a coach gives advice along the, along the what, excuse me, and a mentor is the how and why. The advice uh, he gave me was, is going to sound simple, but it was pretty impactful for me. We were having a conversation and he was asking about my career development. He said, have you gone out and gotten coffee with your boss? And I said, no. He said, well, when did you talk to your boss? And I said, at the year-end review, did you speak? What about your boss's boss? Have you gone out to dinner, gone out to coffee? No. Well, what about the head of the department? Have you, have you gotten a drink, gotten coffee, something like that? And I said, no. And he said, Bill, I don't know how to tell you this, but nobody wakes up in the morning saying, I wonder how Bill McNamara is doing today. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't rocket science. If, if you want to move ahead in your career, you have to know what you want. You have to figure out the people who can help make that happen. And then you have to talk to them about it. And that was the advice. And it may sound simple. And I left it saying, that, that sounds pretty simple. And maybe that's all you're thinking. But there's a lot packed in there. And I want to go through that today. So his first piece of advice is you have to know what you want. And in my opinion, this is the biggest hurdle for most people not achieving their goals. Because 50% of people don't really know what they want. They're like, they're in a canoe letting the river take them down life's path. They're not actually dipping their oar into the water, they're just going where the current takes them. And most people just get caught up in the day to day, just react and end up someplace and, and then they say to themselves, I don't know how I got here. The problem is the other half of the people have the opposite problem. They have 10 goals or 100 goals and they want to get in shape and write a book and learn how to cook and play the piano and spend their time dabbling in this and that and that. And the way I think of it is if you're in the middle of the lake and you're trying to row towards shore, you, you can only pick one point to row towards. So step one in Andy's advice, figure out what you want, is have a goal, but it can't be no goals, and it can't be 10 or 100 goals. It has to be a specific goal that's focused. There's a great quote I love that says, you can have anything you want in this life, but you can't have everything you want. I think that's really powerful. So step one. Know what you want. Step two, figure out who the people are that can help you achieve that goal, or at least move closer to that goal. Now, in the context we were speaking, he was asking about my boss, 
and my boss's boss and the head of the department as the people who, if I had professional aspirations, they were the proper people to speak to. And that makes sense, but I never thought about it, even when I was a manager, that I don't wake up wondering what the people working for me want or are, are happy. I'm just trying to get through my day, get the things off my desk, move along. And if, if people aren't speaking up to me, then my assumption is that they're happy doing what they're doing. So that you have to actually find people and you actually, you, you have to identify them is, is step two. And maybe you know who those people are and maybe you don't. Maybe, maybe you want to be a cabinet maker and you don't know anyone who's a cabinet maker. And 200 or 500 years ago, that was a real problem. Because if there wasn't a cabinet maker in your town, you were out of luck. You were, <coughs> you were gonna work in the family trade or you were gonna set off into the world to find a cabinet maker and hope to apprentice with them. But the world we live in today, information is not a shortage. It's, it's not the limiting factor. If you wanna be a cabinet maker, you can go online right now and find an unlimited wealth of resources to learn. Who, who is a skilled cabinet maker within your reach? What resources are available to you, et cetera? So go online, find a person, send an email, because step three is once you find those people who can help you move towards your goals or achieve your goals, you have to actually talk to them. You have to tell them what you want. And in my experience, most people think this would be the hardest step, but this is actually the easiest step. Most people are actually very willing to help you if you express your goals to them. And even if they're not willing to make it happen like a fairy godmother waving a wand, they are willing to tell you what you should do. So for example, if your goal is to be the next head of Microsoft, right? <laughs> really aspirational goal, really reaching for the stars, good one. Well, who's a good person who would know? I would think off the top of my head, Bill Gates is a good person to speak to. Now, I don't know Bill Gates, but that could be a goal, like how do I have a conversation with Bill Gates? Well, now you have a new goal to move towards. But let's say you were able to speak to Bill Gates. I'm sure Bill Gates would say something along the lines of, if you want to start a company like Microsoft, do it the way I did. Start a technology company and then grow it to the size of Microsoft. Well, now you have new goals. Step one, how do I learn how to start a company and how do I grow it to the size of Microsoft? Or two, he would say, if we're hiring a new CEO, we look for someone with a Harvard MBA and this much experience, et cetera, et cetera. And now you have new goals. So fellow Toastmasters, reflect on Amy's advice. It may sound simple, but there's a lot packed in there. And it's not just professional advice like he gave it to me. It's really life advice. Thank you.